Hello. Welcome back. Best of the best. Practitioners of light and love. Those who reciprocate. Their very best. Equally on a norm. I want to ask spirit. <laughs> Angels of light and love, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages. My chakras, my auras, my space, and that of my children's. Thank you. Sometimes I wonder why they haven't killed me off yet. I don't understand. Mm. I just, I'm trying to make sense of things and I just don't understand. Okay, so two came through, one fell on my left leg it's inverted there's a lot of opposition a lot of opposition you see so something might vibe with you within your own like struggles but it came in inverted okay the other one fell on the description box, so I guess I have to look up the description on this. It's 28. That one's 58. These are all... Um, someone may, may move to the ER, an investment, CPR, like mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, a butterfly um, being set free, um, a lady in the waterfalls, like a smaller waterfall, three alien spaceships overhead, a girl being saved from, you know, moving car, being hit by car anyway, um, a ladder outside or to a crevice, like a pit hole in a valley and so that came in reverse let me see here I don't know I guess I feel this is like being saved right when in full, it's saving. That's what it is. Saving grace. Literally being saved. Resuscitated. Saving as far as investments. Saving as far as a ladder, being able to climb out of something. Saving self. Saving as far as replenishment. Being cleansed. Saving other life forms. It came in reverse. It's an abundant card, and as we always say, abundant cards are always in the coming. So, hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and look that up on the cards. What does that mean here? 28. Okay. You know, my son's birthday is coming up. And I, I feel a little sad. It's kind of like Christmas. Like, he's trying to be hmm. 
consider it and not make me feel bad. Because the most important thing is stability. So, for him to even say what he would want, it's like been changed. <laughs> like, even if I stayed with um, his dad, it would still be like he couldn't ask for certain things that he would like, even as a gift. Like a legit gift. Because, like, he's had the same pair of shoes for two years. <laughs> and, like, with basics like that, you know, when his dad is making, like, 60 an hour, basically, and uses it all on drugs and alcohol... It's like, wow. <laughs> so I feel sad for him because he can't Um, he just wants like a real dad and stability I thought I was going to be in a place that would be able to provide for one side With all of these things that are happening. With all the readings that I've done. I don't know why. <sighs> I, I just don't know why. Um. It's not coming to life. I don't understand. I've tried to compromise and look for other jobs. And then I share good news with him and then like I just... I still um, haven't been able to give him like a normal life. I don't know. Okay. So I was right, you know, saving, helping, redeeming, uh, rescuing. Saving is a sharing of life energy in a way that brings vitality and being to one in need of regaining their wholeness. We have faith, continu continually tested by reality, that there is always a source available to give us, if not what we want, then what is possible. The way we do not have to despair, that there are problems without solutions. Alright, this way, sorry, this way, we do not have to despair that there are problems without solutions. The only difficulty is ourselves and our willingness to seek and to give what is necessary to, to each and every moment. Your task is to give up trying to make something happen, so that what needs to come about may reveal itself. Very interesting, huh? So with the UFOs, it shows... Um, intervention and possibility. The UFOs are seen in the night sky. This means projected hopes can never save what is happening. 
<laughs> That's funny. Accept the situation so what is possible can occur. So, I don't know. I've accepted the situation. I just... Okay. I guess maybe not in full. Risk. I'm the child is saved from itself. The most things we go which go wrong in life are self created. Study where you are caught in the need to take risks. I don't think I've been engaging in risky behavior. I haven't done anything that I haven't done anything that would be risky, I don't know. Okay. Ladder potential and choice. The ladder has been placed in the deep pit, the deep, I'm sorry, the depth of our despair is a measure of our need to affirm life and live. Express your fears in ways that give you choice. Okay. So I guess I have the choice to be sad about it and magnify that or just accept the way things are. And maybe I'm just supposed to teach my kids lessons that... You know, sometimes, well, we we have to make firm decisions, and the best decisions we've already made, you know, we could, it's not like we got anything more from staying with his dad, you know, I'm just working harder to juggle, but... It gives us a lot of freedom in a way that we don't have to deal with the volatility of random arguments and fights and having that projected towards the kids at random. So none of us have to experience trauma ever again like that. So that's good. Okay. That That is really good that's what I can give to my kids. So, next is butterfly hands. Freedom and protecting. The butterfly rests on cupped hands. Freedom to choose saves us from repressing energy. Make choices rather than simply do things. Huh. Okay, maybe I have to think about that one more. Um, yeah, breath of life, rescuing, committed. Mouth to mouth resuscitation is given. When the possible is impo- when the impossible is impossible, the possible is possible. <laughs> Live the principle. There is a solution to every problem. Okay, bank. Conserving and preserving. The coins are being saved. Containing needs prep, uh, prepares uh, for future needs. Containing needs prepares for future needs. Okay. Practice not giving it all away. I don't know if that pertains to me. Or even the risk part. I, I don't think either one of those are things that pertain to me. Um, okay, emergency, health, or concern. The ambulance people are doing their job. When sick, we receive. When well, we give. Consciously balance your giving and receiving. Okay. I don't know. I don't know who wants to give to me. (laughs) So... I guess I'll just accept that part. (laughs) Spirit. uh, Consciousness and right thought. What is that one? Um, No, what's the other one? Where's the other card? Oh, right there. Mm. Okay. Um... 
the words are spoken. Do not listen unless you are willing to hear. Open the inner ear and not just the outer ones. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what all of this means. You know, it's okay that I don't know. That's what I've accepted. It's okay that I don't know um, certain things. You know what? I'm going to put some of these cards away. Um, so I don't know what kind of inner resistance they're saying that I have. Like, I, I don't... I don't know. Um... I don't know, but I do know that it does give me comfort in the validation that maybe that's why some people don't want readings from me. Maybe that's why some people are not interested in investing in me. Maybe, you know, all of these things are just telling me, um, just go do what I need to do. Just whatever it is, just go ahead and do it. You know? And, uh, you know, just let karma do its thing. And, you know, um, not get too hinged on any particular love interest, not even like the excitement of it, just. It's cool. Like there's there's enough stuff going on in my life that um, I don't I don't need any extra drama, trauma, anything like that. No, I don't. I don't need those extras. So um, let's focus on. You know, there's always gonna be people that don't like you. <laughs> There's always going to be people that, um, uh, there's always going to be, you know, some kind of opposition and, um, right? I mean, um, let me see here. Let's focus on my people, the people that really do like me, because I forget sometimes, like, out of sight, out of mind, and I do have undercover, like, underground, my underground crew, so what does my underground crew love about me? Eight of swords in reverse. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm hearing? Bail bonds. <laughs> like, I can get people out of being stuck, but that's only because I can get out of being stuck. <laughs> you know, see? I can bail whenever I need to. I can forfeit whenever I need to. Whenever I want to, really. Because when I want to, it's actually when I need to. You know? I pull in strong! <laughs> so, you know... What time is it? 9.56? So, it's like... I know when to retreat. And... Yeah. It's not like with the tail be between your legs. It's more like... Um... I don't know. I, they like the fact that... Um, it's not even humbling oneself. It's just like, mm, time to go. <laughs> Party's over. <laughs> okay. King of Pentacles um, facing the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. They, they're saying that I'm a, an uber manifester. <laughs> and I can just be chill. 
I mean, um, very productive. <laughs> um, but very welcoming as well. Yeah, like, this is time to, like, cash in. This is harvesting. So, they like that. So, they can see beyond what I'm able to see in current state. You know? We share gifts in a way that, like, I'm able to see things that they're not able to. And likewise, they're able to find and have insights that I'm just... Um not seeing at the moment okay what does my crew love about me hmm? what is it okay they're saying also that i'm really chill in in areas that um they like would not be chill in so even though like i feel like i'm i don't know if it's panic mode even though i feel like i'm stressing some of them would definitely have a major breakdown or not even cross like tread these paths of the unknown I don't know. It's my underground crew. Sometimes it's not all about like being undercover. Some, you know, um, like living off the grid. Sometimes it's like living on the grid and very much intertwined and intermeshed in it. So you know, it's like a combination. Eight of Wands pronounced. They they love that I'm a good communicator. That I'm willing to like relinquish rights in order to, um communicate with that of the unknown mm -hmm. it's um reaching this a uh, certain elevation point of penetrating dimensions um that um few if not just i have access to um and so i'm able to tap into um extraterrestrial um the galactic cosmic forces um mm -hmm. yeah you know there are many things that we do not know so me even inquiring like i wonder why i haven't been killed off yet if i'm really that not if like people are trying to keep me under like organizations or whatever if they're trying to keep me muffled and under like i don't you know i don't i don't really understand that unless they were deterred in some some way some very personal way like not to mess with me so they kind of chip away at me i, I freaking don't know <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought that if I made the best of friends within, like, allies with, um, you know, the upper crust, that I would be... I didn't even have to be living in the lap of luxury. I just thought I was going to be able to... I don't know. It doesn't matter, really, what I think about certain things <laughs> I thought that these things these like revelations would come true sooner but I know that they're gonna come true I just don't know when <laughs> it's a nine of cups in reverse what does my crew love about me what is the <clears throat> clarification to that Four of Pentacles, accentuated. Okay. I suppose that, like, when things get me down, you know, when things try to bring me down, it's like I, I take, um, uh, 
like a nosedive. You see, this is the cup energy. And this is elevation, the opposite of it. So I just take like a nosedive and um, go with the gravity of things. So whatever um, goes with me is something that I truly cherish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're saying that I love my crew, too. <laughs> okay. That's sweet. Mm -hmm. At least they know that. <laughs> it's it's going to be oatmeal time shortly. <laughs> After this, okay, that one. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Mm. I think it's like when I come back to reality, when I come back to the scene, it's like crispy and clean. You can try to something but you can't intervene you could get with this or you can get with that that's funny okay so that's um the choice is yours you can get with this or you can get with that um <laughs> here they come y'all here they come that's funny um so that um i come back with like a lighter step because I already did the drop off. I d already did the delivery. They say that I'm thorough. And um, by default, um, I have a lot less baggage than normal people. <laughs> I mean, that's the assessment, you know, when it comes to like the regular, the regulars out there. <laughs> they like that. When, yeah, I mean, that's really the truth of it. When you're thorough, you don't have anything like trailing along behind you. Okay. Um, I saved part of the world today. During the cleanup this past weekend, there was um, like a, a bin of oil motor oil used motor oil that was um sitting like laying out with boxes of paper stuff on top of it and that's where um, a rat or rats created nests um and so um when i told my ex about it like i vacuumed as much as possible and this is part of the gross thing was that uh, what i could not see like i vacuumed and it just kept like sucking up like loads of like large things like it was you know it was like it was it was crazy um it was gross because <laughs> i i don't know what remains i was you know um catching and i know i didn't catch them all so when he moved out the stuff um i told him that i need he was he was trying to avoid that <laughs> But that, that was his stuff. All of that was his stuff. So, um, when I, when I asked him to remove it, um, he still got the boxes of, you know, like pictures and stuff. Um, and that oil bin, um, was filled with like rat stuff all over it. Piss. Droppings, whatever. And he threw it in the trash. And I was like, I don't... Are you not supposed to do that? And like, I don't... Mm. So I decided to get technical about it. And I was like, I don't want to get... In, or wouldn't we get in trouble for that? And he said, well, you're going to put stuff on top of it, right? So... Yeah, so I decided for him to wait. And, I mean, to, like... Decided to wait for him to, like, leave so I could pull it out and clean it off. And that is what I did this morning. Hmm. I made sure to do that. Save the environment. Mm -hmm. So I can recycle it at Pet Boys or whatever. <laughs> so I cleaned it off very well. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah. But, you know, like, the ultimate disregard <clears throat> for being too above it to clean something or take accountability for it. So they let other people or other sentients um, um, suffer the consequences of their lack of accountability. So what fell between the legs are Ace of Cups pronounced and the Sun card pronounced. You know how wonderful that is? Holy sh... Now I have to blow my nose. <laughs> Give me a second. My crew loves me. They're doing the Gatorade pour themselves. You know how sweet that is? Hold on. <sighs> crazy <laughs> so it was like I was just being served because you're like right between my legs right there just on the floor <laughs> um yeah so they have a lot of love for me like that I'm very happy <laughs> for the most part <laughs> um I think bring a lot of happiness to other sentients so that they get to dance, they get to shine, they get to feel good too. I give the feel goods, that's what they said. So much so they feel compelled by to give me like that extra bit of love. It's a lot of bit. <laughs> Oh. I have never felt like a champ before. I've never felt like a champ before. So, you know, I get to live it in a different form. <laughs> you know, like how my teams, my, uh, my crew, uh, want to make me feel like a champ. By doing that, that's the con that's like the same concept that I want to give to my kids, especially like when it's their birthday or Christmas or something, you know. And it's like there will be a time when I'm gonna get to that place. But for now, they're saying I just kind of have to let go of it. Quit trying so hard to be like so. It'll just uh, come to that place. You yeah. know? It'll just. <laughs> Star card, okay. What face the four of cups in reverse and what's peeking through is page of swords. 
Okay, so we have to learn how to like forego certain things in order to get to a certain light of achievement is what I'm hearing. And what opened up to that was the star card, <laughs> the wheel of fortune, and the hangman in reverse. So there's like, we're not doing the whole FOMO thing. We're foregoing that. Mm -hmm. Because there's um, a higher destiny for us. <laughs> I'm speaking to my crew, so it's not just me, but also um, because we're networked, it's it's my crew, too. So, um, yeah. That's what makes so special. <laughs> but, um, no, that's why my crew loves me. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Yeah. So, that's good. I think in the, the biggest thing here. It's not, because I don't really feel like I experience FOMO. I, I don't think I feel like I fear I'm missing out on wonderful things that the corporate world can provide. You know, I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I'm, it's not that. I feel like mine is more oriented towards my kids. Like. Fear of them missing out on what it's like to, like, I'm missing out on childhood years that should be provided for, but because of the state of the way things are, I. Their dad robbing them of certain areas of childhood. So, you know, some, some things are out of my control. <laughs> it's like, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. But other areas, it's like, I have to teach my children. Um, how to reposition themselves without overlooking themselves, you know. Look above the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know that they don't think any less of me. I think the real issue is that they know the truth about their dad. And it's become hard for them to digest. So it's like they almost want to pretend it like it doesn't exist. I think that's the part that, uh, like, it's just out of, that's not within my control. My part is like um, to give them a reality that's um, that's true, and that they feel safe in, and that's what I'm already providing. So, but even that right now, like they're not even they're not giving me the hours this week now because I'm not willing to whore myself out energetically. <laughs> Like, it's not even pretending to be one of them. They want me to just, like, be myself within, like, most open, vulnerable forms so that they can siphon my energies. <laughs> that That's the hardest part of it, that I can't be just like them in order to fake it. And so they're... <laughs> the funny thing is, is that they have this app where you can pick up shifts, um... Or like apply to pick up shifts in other neighboring um places like franchises and i've i've expressed interest in several of them like to fill and once they publicize it there's there's an exact need for it because they scheduled me all last week without having a formal schedule you know like it was just 
randomly, you know, how it was chosen. Like, well, if it you here, 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 whatever. So if it's publicized on a community, like um, a communications app, that means that there's a real need for it. And some of those positions are unfulfilled even as I express interest in it. I mean, it, was, I, it wasn't as easy as that. My manager, whoever that is, one of the managers has to approve me being able to work for the others. <laughs> and so it's like they're not willing to give me the hour. So you heard a honk off into the distance. Yeah. So it's all just like one crazy game. I don't understand what the formula is in order to... Oh my goodness, my tummy. Somebody's here that... um. It's the same person, I think. So, okay, why does my crew love me? priestess in reverse it's funny because they're saying that I know a lot about their under about my my, the underground crew without really being in touch with them I mean you know I don't I don't like go to like their parties or their like I don't exchange emails or social media stuff like I don't I don't really know them by true identity I don't really know don't know them very well I don't well they're saying that I do know them very well but there are certain things that I don't know it's it's kind of oh they like the fact that also that um um I'm in touch with the underworld (laughs) They like that. They think that's kind of, that's kind of cool. They said six of pentacles. Yeah. Um, okay. So they, they like that. I give back to this world and while doing my own thing, you know, I'm not overreaching. I just do my thing. And in a way it gives back to the world. There's a sense of duality here. Um, that's pretty much undercover and linked with the high priestess in reverse. Mm-hmm. That it achieves balance. Mm-hmm. Because even though it might be taboo to some, um, it's part of the formula of what um, makes things, what helps create perfect balance. Um, yeah, so I they like the fact that I also work um, behind the scenes with them, give them clues in order to um, satiate their, mis- their, their own discoveries in life. And, um, that I provide guidance in a way that I don't realize that I'm really doing my tummy. Holy smokes. So that's that person is still here. Mm-hmm. It's weird. It's like, the like the only people that express true, um, what do you call it? Um, room. Oh, I can't say it. They don't want me to say it. So I won't say it. I won't see. spirit. You tell me. Is it, is it safe to say, or should I not say it? Holy smokes! <laughs> Knight of Pentacles inverted. The Devil card muted. The World card pronounced, and the Six of Cups muted. Five of Cups muted as well. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, it's so a total of. Five cards, okay. I get the feeling that a lot of the cards that are muted 
are very troubled cards. That's what it looks like. People that have addiction issues, like control issues, um, people who think that I'm, even though I'm abundant and, and um, think that I'm very weird, um, people are piecing together the confusion in their lives and have, um, have to say goodbye to certain things, I'm trying to like muffle my, my voice. Um, but like I hold great power in closure for all of them. They want to quiet me. So I can say it, right? Intro. So I provide insight, massive insight to seers is what I can say. Um, seers take great interest in me because, and some of them don't even know that they're truly seers yet because I, I go from all ranges, all walks of life, all age ranges, all genders, all sentience. Okay. So I provide closure, uh, ultimate, like seeing eye for those like that already bear um, the gift of sight. Um, I, I suppose what I provide is vision. Um, another extra added layers to their sight. That's why they left me. That's what I can say. Mm-hmm. It goes beyond like a romantic view, an aesthetic view. This is what no other can provide them. I think it's because they're not as in touch with like spirit. Um, they're not, not yet anyway. Okay. There are, um, there's many blockages that they need to work through in um reconnecting to to spirit to um the highest forms of sentience yeah Their judgment is um, heavy bearing. Yeah. It weighs on them, is what I can see. Mm -hmm. And some of them like to deadlift too, so it's like that also includes with its wordplay, like necromancy. They dabble in things that, like, they truly don't understand the need for respect for mm -hmm. so um yeah interesting okay yeah i got the chills on that so that's for sure okay okay so this is um the star card intro card inverted so they do see that within me like um light um They're just quietly trying to understand that. That's why they haven't killed me off yet. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. That's why you haven't killed me off yet. Hmm. There's more to it than that, they said. <laughs> but it's good for good reason. They didn't, they haven't done it yet. I don't think they're holding me hostage either. Oh, my stomach. Holy smokes. Um, I don't think that they're holding me hostage, even though I feel kind of imprisoned a bit with not having similar opportunities for those who cheat the system. You know, I don't understand why I can't get, why they're not giving me the same 
for people who cheat the system that are within the system why why don't they why won't they give me decent opportunities i don't understand that i don't understand that so bottom of the deck ten of cups <laughs> I think they're jealous because I already I have it all is what they said. Ten of Cups, it's like absolute happiness. They said I don't. I think they want to humble me. I mean, what like what's what's underneath that? I don't know. Eleven. That uh, it's already fair because I have everything. I'm like really, <laughs> Seven of Swords in reverse. That I. Uh, full card what the frick oh it's time to start a new journey they can't interfere the empress in reverse holy smokes uh. hmm I think they're saying that I need to create my own empire. <laughs> what the frick does that mean? <laughs> what, does, what does that mean? It's like, I, I don't understand what that means. Like, why hasn't anyone given me a lead on pro bono, like legit pro bono? lawyers why why can't I catch a break with certain things so I can really figure out what it means to build my own empire where's my break other than food stamps <laughs> and a fast food job what I don't understand What's my, why does, why does my crew, why do my crews left me? Five of wands in reverse. I'm not willing to fight other people's fights. Meaning I'm not going to engage with anyone who presents um, the degree of failure because they're in opposition with themselves. Oh no, that's three of wands in reverse. Oh, my ships are coming in. My ships are in. Again, it's the Empress in reverse and four of cups in reverse. I choose myself. <laughs> Ultimately, I choose myself. 343 is um, an angel number that we should be looking at. Yeah. Um, I choose the path of least resistance, which is myself. Known to be myself. Hmm. Yeah. So that goes hand in hand with, like, the resolve on, you know, why I'm not landing, like no employer yet has wanted to um, secure me, not even for a contract role. Something was supposed to be coming in late April with um, a company that has multitudes of opportunities within support roles and it didn't come through for me. Another carrot and string. Um, dude, not even a contract role. Well, I think 
since others don't I'm taking note of those that are not willing to take a risk on me. I don't even know if they could call it a risk, like if I could call it a risk. But if somebody is, if entities are not willing to take a chance on me, like I know that when I get very, very big and there's multitudes, like an insane amount of disposable income, I'm not going to invest in them. I'm going to be able to turn the tables and know that none of them deserve those extra investments. I'm not going to endorse their names. Not even through bad publicity. They're going to be nobodies to me. That's the power that I'm going to have. That my children are going to have. They're going to be nobodies. <laughs> you understand? Behind the scenes, I'm going to be able to obsolete them. See? The tables can turn right quick. It's only a matter of time. People, Spirit is just showing me who's valid and who's not. Because those entities will know how to contribute to me in ways that, you know, are undercover. But the sheer fact of saying that, oh, they're helping me by nudging me towards, like, building my own empire. That's BS. That's a load of BS. That's excuses. There's ways to contribute while supporting that. They know that. <laughs> they wish that I didn't know that. Or that I'm that I wouldn't educate others to knowing that. There's ways. So spirit is just showing me who's legit and who's not before I get there. And I'm going to create a list of all that I applied to. I'm going to write down, jot down the companies, the positions, the dates, the salary, all of that. For my own records. But also to go back and look, scan through the list. Who supported me? Who didn't? <laughs> That's going to create a baseline of what's next. Yep. So I should feel excited for this. Like this phase is so incredibly valuable. <laughs> Three of cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. There's um, something about being overturned. Mm -hmm. The, the, Whatever's been previously celebrated, no more, no more. <laughs> There's fakers of all sorts. <laughs> this, this part in my life is giving me high value, high return on the front end, on the prefix. You know how cool that is? Spirit is so freaking smart. Jesus is the wisest of the wise, a great magician, teaching me how to take command. And this is how to shh, do it. <laughs> you know how many people are after Jesus? Like, seriously. Having that kind of power? Wow. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Closing comments, spirit. Jesus, closing comments. <laughs> Why do you love me so, Jesus? <laughs> closing comments. Okay. Um, page of Wands. <laughs> That's funny. This is starting something, right? <laughs> 
So this is like, I'm, <laughs> Jesus says that I'm highly confrontational. <laughs> like, you want to start something? Let's start something. But it's like the eagerness of like, let's get real. Let's If we're going to get started, let's get real. Let's get real excited too. Jesus loves that part of me. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. You're like, we're going to kill it for real. We're going to do this. We're going to do it right. So Jesus is like the best team play ever. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. Um, page of pentacles. Yeah. Like with what very little I have, let's do it. Let's beat on that drum. Oh, you know what song I'm getting? I think it's by the Go-Go's. Um, we got the beat. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> yeah. This is a night of swords. <laughs> taking flight with this like massive eagle so brave pushing forward pushing through it i have the right vehicle um <laughs> the warrior with two swords i'm i'm going to clear things through it's like two machetes that's two swords nothing's gonna get in the way Mm -hmm. Nine of um, wands. Yeah. So, you know how I said I have um, union with the underworld? Um, there's something about holding guard. Like, there are fakers out there. They're trying to come in through, like, there's something, there's something about that. They're fakers. But the underworld knows who the fakers are. And they won't tolerate that when it, for me, they're, they're my guardians too. I, it's hard to describe it because there's a divinity within the underworld too. But it's it's different it's different like I don't know that just happened <laughs> but they're like my big brothers you know um yeah that's what they're saying okay cut the deck again yeah queen of swords <clears throat> definitely um yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say about that because this is very evident within like this darkness, um, this suit. It's, um, that's what they said. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Now it's the nine of grams time. I feel better. Thank you to my crew. Thank you. O A or A O authorizing authority or uh, authorizing officer <laughs> N O A E H T R C G R T H E A W O P U R X S B A So you have a harp Hair like a rabbit. Theo, Thor, Naruto. Oh, <laughs> some of you like um. I don't know the character of Naruto. I just know that it's a big name and it's anime. <laughs> Popular. Popular. Mm. Um, chore, chart. Grace mm, Okay, so let's get names Nate Shane Shar 
spin. Harry, no, 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 there's no Y here. Um, Tara. Um, Teresa. Sarah, Nora, um, Renee, Cora, Um, Stan, mm. um, there's other names in here. Um, Pat. Okay, let's get some things together here, okay? We have exonerate again here. No, because we only had one, we only have two E's. Exact. Mm. Mm. I'm the exact thing that they've been looking for. You know, like medicine? Exact. Very precise. On it. Okay. I think there's like a growth chart that's linked to me. There's like a community one and an individual one. And then, um, yeah. Um, and then like, you know, like a leadership one, you know. So we have growth and we have chart, but I put growth instead. Um,
share. Oh, okay. So, I think I'm going to be on a level where um, I'm creating an empire that can be public, not just private. So, there will be a growth in shares. This is share growth. I mean, I think also on a very microcosmic scale to where it's at right now, I'm sharing growth. The energy of growth, not just my own. Torah. Aura. So it's, um, I feel like I have a natural aura of sharing. It's not just energy, it's um like setting up a an ambiance. Um yeah. Give me a second, move this thing down a bit, a bit. <laughs> but I think my crew and I share like certain energetic fields. Oh, my nose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Proton? What? What's that all about? Ren. Brent. Um, I don't know why it's, I think maybe I have to keep protons separate. I don't know. Let me see here. Proton. I don't know. I forget what protons are. <laughs> um, but there's that. Okay. Let me see here. To be announced something. I don't know why. Um, give me a second here, okay? Outer body experience. Exact growth. Something about outer body experience. There's something also about something to be announced. I don't.
PBT. Maybe. I don't know. To be announced. I don't know what that means. I think it's supposed to be like cryptic a little bit. Okay, let me show you. There's that. Onky donkey. All right. So I'm not going to stress over what it exactly could mean, whatever. It's supposed to come to me later. I don't know. Not right now. And Jesus of Light and Love, thank you so very much for leading this, as well as Jesus. So sweet. <laughs> <I'm> so sweet. <laughs> um, um, so thank you to all my sponsors and my supporters of all sorts and every which way that you do that in light and love. <laughs> Amen. Blessed be. Um, it's received accordingly. I'm working through it. I know. I know. We all are wonderful. <laughs> okay, so now that this reading is officially over, oh, you know what to do if you like me and my crew. All right, that's all I'm going to say to that. So, um, now that this reading is officially over, I send back all of you back <laughs> with your appropriate karmas to helping initiate that sequence of force of roll out. And we're sending... Each and every one of you back. In light and love. Take this all portals. Now.